Hello everyone. Welcome back to another crochet tutorial. I'm Hironi from Hiro Handmade and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this festive crochet adventure. In this video tutorial, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a dazzling crochet star that will not only brighten up your tree but also warm your heart with the joy of crafting. By the end of this video, you'll have a stunning star ornament ready to hang proudly on your Christmas tree or give as a heartfelt handmade gift. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming crochet tutorials and holiday crafting ideas. Now without further ado, let's crochet some holiday magic. Let's see what are the things needed. We will need some yarn. I'm gonna use a sparkling kind of a yarn here. And along with that 1.5 millimeter steel crochet hook the pair of scissors and the yarn needle these are the things required now let's see how to crochet this Start with a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your finger two times like this. Then insert the hook into the ring, yarn over, pull through the ring. Now we have a loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. Now we are ready with the magic ring. And then work 6 single crochets into the magic ring. Insert the hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through. Now we have 2 loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is the first single crochet. Again, insert the hook into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both the loops. Now we have completed 2 single crochets over here, we will just continue. 3, 4, 5 and 6. After completing 6 single crochets into the magic ring, we can pull this tail tight to close it like so. And then we will start with the second round. Before that, we need to work a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round to join. Insert the hook into the first single crochet, work over this tail so that you don't have to worry about hide it at the end. Yarn over, pull through the stitch and pull through the loop. Now we have completed the first round. This is what it looks like. And then chain one to start with round two and we need to work one increase into each one of the stitches around which means we need to work two single crochets into each one of the stitches we will start from the first stitch here one and two this is the increase again work two single crochets into the second stitch here one and two again work two single crochets into the third stitch one and two now repeat the pattern until the end of the round This is the end of the round 2 and then we need to work a slip stitch to join. 
so insert the hook into the very first single crochet of the round yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop with that we have completed the second round and then chain 3 to start with round 3 yarn over pull through the loop this is the first chain yarn over pull through the loop this is the second chain again yarn over and pull through the loop this is the third chain then work a half double crochet into the next stitch yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch now we have three loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all three loops like so this is the first half double crochet and then chain one and work another half double crochet into the next stitch yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch now we have three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops this is the second half double crochet again chain one and work another half double crochet into the next stitch yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over and pull through all three loops again chain one and work another half double crochet into the next stitch yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over and pull through all three loops this is the pattern we need to repeat until the end of the round chain one and half double crochet like that we will repeat until the end of the round now I'm at the end of the round three then chain one and work a slip stitch into the second chain from the starting point this is the second chain insert the hook into the second chain yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop with that we have completed the third round as well and then chain 3 to start round 4 1 2 and 3 and work a double crochet into the same stitch yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch yarn over pull through the stitch now we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through two of those loops now we have two loops on our hook yarn over and pull through two after that chain two one and two and then work two double crochets on top of the first half double crochet here yarn over insert the hook into the stitch on top of the half double crochet yarn over pull through the stitch now we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through two now we have two loops on our hook yarn over and pull through both the loops again work another double crochet into the same stitch yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through two again yarn over and pull through two this is what we have completed so far chain two and work two double crochets on top of the next half double crochet here yarn over insert the hook into the stitch on top of the half double crochet yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two again work another double crochet into the same stitch and then again chain two one and two and work two double crochets into the next half double crochet here one and two again chain two and work two double crochets on top of the next half double crochet like that we will continue until the end of the round
Now I'm at the end of the round four. Chain one and then work one half double crochet into the third chain from the starting point. Yarn over, insert the hook into the third chain. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. With that we have completed the fourth round as well. This is what it looks like. And then again chain three to start with round five. And work a double crochet into the chain two space here. Yarn over, insert the hook into the chain two space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then work another double crochet into the same chain two space. Yarn over, insert the hook into the chain two space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And then chain three, one, two, and three. And then work a single crochet into the next chain 2 space. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over and pull through both the loops. And then chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and work a double crochet into the next chain 2 space. Chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then work another double crochet into the same chain 2 space. We will repeat the pattern. Chain 3. 1, 2, 3. A single crochet into the next chain 2 space here. Again, chain three, one, two, three, and then work a double crochet and chain five, another double crochet into the next chain two space. We will start work a double crochet into the chain two space, chain five. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then again work another double crochet into the same chain 2 space. And then chain 3, 1, 2 and 3. Then work a single crochet into the next chain 2 space. We will repeat the pattern. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and work a double crochet into the next chain 2 space. Chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 then work another double crochet into the same chain 2 space. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and work a single crochet into the next chain 2 space. Again chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 then work a double crochet into the next chain 2 space and then chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then work another double crochet into the same chain 2 space. Again chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and work a single crochet into the next chain 2 space. Again chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and work another double crochet into the next chain 2 space. Chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 
4 and 5 then work another double crochet into the same chain 2 space and then chain 3 1 2 and 3 then we are going to join the round by working a slip stitch into the starting point over here insert the hook into the first chain yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop with that we have completed the fifth round as well this is what it looks like and then we will work three single crochets into the chain three space here one two and three after that work three single crochets into the chain five space here one two and three then chain three one two and three then work three single crochets into the chain five space over here as well one two and three and then work another three single crochets into the next chain three space one two and three then work three single crochets into the next chain three space as well one two and three then work three single crochets into the chain five space one two and three then chain three one two and three then work another three single crochets into the same chain five space one two and three again continue three single crochets into the next chain three space one two and three again work three single crochets into the next chain three space one two and three then work three single crochets chain three and three single crochets into the chain five space Again repeat the pattern 3 single crochets into the chain 3 space 1, 2 and 3. Another 3 single crochets into the next chain 3 space 1, 2 and 3. Then work 3 single crochets into the chain 5 space here 1, 2, 3. And then we are going to chain 20 here to have the loop to hang the star 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then work three more single crochets into the same chain five space. One, two, and three. Now we have created the loop. And then work three single crochets into the next chain three space. One, two, and three again another three single crochets into the next chain three space one 
2 and 3 then work 3 single crochets chain 3 and 3 single crochets into the chain 5 space We will continue the pattern 3 single crochets into the chain 3 space here 1, 2 and 3 again another 3 single crochets into the next chain 3 space 1, 2 and 3 then work 3 single crochets chain 3 and 3 single crochets into the next chain 5 space. Now work 3 single crochets into the next chain 3 space here 1, 2 and 3 and then we are going to work a slip stitch into the stitch on top of the first single crochet of the round here to join like so and then leave a little tail and you can cut the yarn off. With that we have completed our star. Now we will use our yarn needle to hide the tail of the project. Insert the needle into few stitches like so. And then thread the yarn needle. And pull it from the other side after that I'm going to use the yarn needle to pull the corners like this so that it will look neater and this is what the final project will look like I hope I have explained all the instructions clearly for you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching Hero Handmade.